Hey guys, it's the Cheating Carnivore, Tamara Rose Blodgett. I wanted to talk about something that I find very interesting. I'm gonna do a real short video about it, but it can help a lot of people. Um, if you're lactose intolerant, or milk's a problem for you, or you have cream or any kind of milk, and within a half an hour you're doing the Shadomatic, I've got a solution. Um, we have been working, um, I have some really close relatives that have um, IBSD, and they're very reactive to a lot of different things. And I have been diligently working with one individual to try to sort this, this issue. And we've gone through everything by all different brands of milk and cream and the same reaction happens. There's a lot of lacrimation where there's a bunch of snotting and stuffiness and sometimes, you know, an immediate bathroom trip. Um, you have to pardon me, I haven't, I just got out of the shower and this is the hair drying because I don't want to use heat on it. Anyway, um, and mom's coming. Mom's coming in about 20 minutes. We're going to go th thrifting Thursday, right? Anyway, um, but I have found the solution. I have found the solution for the modified protein issue with the milk. They now have a 2A milk. It's reminiscent of the milk that was around pre-1970, pre-1975, and it's called 2A. And I got some at uh, QFC. I can also get it at Safeway. And the last time I was in QFC, they happened to have it in half and half. I was so stoked. So I brought it home and I forced my husband, <laughs> who had been using the 2A um, regular whole milk, which isn't ideal in your coffee. You would prefer to have cream because as carnivores, we want to um, be fat centric. So that's one of those things where I was like, okay, let's let's get creamier as we can. And so maybe that's a beta thing. You know, they're just offering the half and half to see how it works, right? But the jury's in and he has not been able to consume any, any milk or any cream of any kind without a terrible reaction afterwards. And I was convinced it was either process, brand, or something I couldn't discover. I was just about ready to go down to the Squim Creamery and grab raw cream. And of course he wasn't on board with that. He's like, that's ridiculous that you'd have to go to a separate store just for cream for my coffee. And I'm like, well, I'm willing to do a lot, aren't I? Because I don't think it's good. My supposition is that if one person reacts badly that with that much fluency toward something they've consumed, they may be an early warning person. What's an early warning person? In my book, an early warning person is someone that has a really sensitive alarmist system that when anything toxic or poisonous that it thinks is, that checks the tally, the tally mark box of a problem, the body has a visceral reaction and tries to get rid of it, right? So my thought process is if he's reacting or people that I'm close to or family members are reacting in a bad way to certain things, that means something's wrong with that thing and my body is not reacting to it the same way, but that doesn't mean that it's not a problem for me, right? I hate to use these people as guinea pigs, but I think they're onto something. I think they have a sensitive protective system and it's reacting to things that are bad. Well, we got the 2A half and half in here and there's nary a reaction. What it really is, is akin to the gluten modification from the 60s, where before 1964 or five, when we were gonna feed the world and modify the gluten to get more wheat, you know, bearing per crop um, with height and fullness and all that stuff. Before that happened, there were four strains of gluten and people were by and large not having trouble with bread in the way they are now. And in other products, gluten's in. And then they modified the gluten and now we're into like 25 strains of gluten. Well, it's just, it's too much, too fast for anybody's system to um, compensate. And that's why there's so many people that have celiac and have gluten disease. And I feel like this is a relative, metaphorically speaking, that this 2A protein milk that was around liberally and commonly when I was a child is now been displaced by milk that's um, full of sugars that run through the cows faster, that don't have the proper proteins. Um, they're, it's sweeter and more addictive and all these things because it makes more money in addition to it being not as good for us and cheaper to produce. That's always the government line. The FDA is run by the government, obviously. So that's their line. Faster, cheaper, and who gives one hoot about health? Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think about that. And if you have a loved one or you yourself are suffering from lactose intolerance or anything under that umbrella, 
And I feel strongly that this 2A may be a solution because it has been for Hobbs and a few other family members that I know that, that suffer from IBS, D, and other problematic issues. I'm autoimmune. Hubs is not. He's got other issues. But uh, anyway, please like and subscribe. And if you like these little informative short videos, let me know and, and put your comments, put your thoughts in the comments so I know what's happening and share me with your friends.